you have limited resources, you want to be able to use those resources and, and maximise the, the opportunity to use those in the most opportune way. And so you need to be able to know where that is and how that is. Without data, without being able to access data and be able to trend and, and monitor and, and measure, etc., you're basically just working um, by guesswork. I think again to that to enrich our data. Um, so we, with all our incident data that we have and profiling that data, step into other data sources out there like um, segmentation, lifestyle data, and overlaying that with our incident data. We've got a really clear picture on who are our risks in the community, who is at risk, so we can better identify who they are, where they are, um, and better ways to communicate with them or have treatment options to better engage with them rather than a broad approach that previously we have um, in emergency services that um, you know, one approach doesn't fit all so yeah it enhances our ability. The challenge is meeting the expectation of the community as, to, as far as the quality of what um, that they uh, would like us to deliver. Uh, the, but the challenge is also a very good benefit and for us we do our business better. We can now we can now warn people sooner about events. We have a better understanding about the potential impact of events. Um, we, we're not as blind as we used to be um, as to how the fire is behaving, um, and so people are, are warned earlier. We, we're using our resources more effectively. Um, we're uh, being able to suppress a, a much larger number of fires, and we're more effective in containing fires that. Um, uh, you, by using this data and this information. I think that one of the issues is that we don't have it in our curriculum right now. We're not hiring data scientists or people with a data or computer science background in any position because the firefighting is a layman's job. And for good reasons. I mean, I'm, you don't want to fill up a, a fire engine with, with data scientists. Please don't. But, to have a couple of them around in your surface is really important. To understand the job, who fight fires, who've been out there in the fields, that is, that is important. And I think that people start to understand it, but I'm not sure that everybody understands the magnitude of things to come. The data collection is absolutely essential. It's, it's the core element, it's the foundation of everything we need to look at what's happening so that we can look at the changes. So in collecting that data, it's, it's very complex, it's very time consuming, just to try and collect data from different sources so that we can have the best picture possible to help us um, understand who is drowning, who is actually um, getting involved in incidents, um, and what those causal factors may be. So because I was a practitioner as well as a researcher, I was really well placed to be able to um, if you like, demonstrate to people the value of what we were doing and how it would apply. So I was part of the team that uh, rewrote our national operational guidance for incident command, which is our national doctrine, like your aims, for example. I was part of the team that rewrote that. So I was in the perfect place to do this work and to demonstrate the value in the place where it's going to have the biggest impact. One of the problems with government is that the, the, the lack of development speed the lack of agility, um, which in turn is probably in place because of all sort of tendering processes, so you have to write specifications on, on about the color and the size of fonts and stuff like that, and you cannot change it quickly, and that is, well, we have to think about how we do that. If you build a fire truck, you got like 12 months to think about it, but if you build software, you know, you should do it every three weeks, but you don't want to do a tendering process every three weeks, you know, none of the vendors would actually come in, so we have to think about how we're going to implement things like that. Uh, uh, within, within development of tools, data tools within the fire service.